So I'm gonna walk you through this standing banded ab crunch. And we do this just by taking a, a basic band, looping it around the top pull-up bar. Of course, you can use lighter bands or heavier bands depending on how much tension you need. And you can walk your hands up the band to make it harder, down the band to make it easier. I'm gonna grab somewhere here in the middle. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk forward and set my hands, so my thumbs are pointed up. I'm gonna kind of push my hands against my temple, relatively, relatively strong. And I'm going to relax first thing and traction my back and abs. So I'm stretching at the top. And then all I'm gonna do is crunch and I'm gonna to try to point my elbows at my torso or at my pelvis. Stretch, crunch, and hold. Stretch, crunch, and hold. I'm gonna do that for a set of eight or 10. Now I'm gonna have you try this for a set of five. We've played with this a little bit before we started shooting. You're gonna actually come up a little bit closer. You're gonna actually put the loop right up against your forehead. Now, if you've got a lot of hair, you've got a lot of hair, so it doesn't seem to bother you too much. I, I don't know if you've noticed, I have zero hair. I stole it. <laughs> and then you can actually put a towel in here if it's pulling on your hair, and you can actually put a towel between the band and your head just so it doesn't pull on your hair. I don't think it's gonna bother you too much, so try it. So your thumbs up will grab the band, walk forward until it's against your forehead. That's exactly right. Nice wide stance, hips stay in the same place, traction and crunch. Good. Traction and crunch. Good. Again, let's go three. Traction and crunch. And notice he's not bending over at the waist, he's not bending the hips, it's just a movement in the core. That looks great, stand all the way up and relax and step back. So that's how we do the standing banded ab crunch. We often can put it in at the end of the workout. After we've already sort of pre-fatigued our core with squats and deadlifts and things like that, this is a great finishing movement at the end of the workout. Now, some people struggle to get a good contraction on this crunch while standing. And so one thing that you can do is you can drop down to your knees and do this from your knees. It creates more tension in the band we lose the ability to stand up and do this standing, but it's a little easier movement to learn. So I taught you how to do this before you started shooting. I'm gonna have you do it. So you're gonna come down, put it on your, down on your knees, you're nice and tall, wrap it around your head just like that. And then same thing, crunch, don't do a sit up. That's exactly right. Come back up and stretch, traction the back, crunch, traction the back, Let's do one more, crunch, and you're gonna really think about how hard can I contract my abs, and then back up, stretch, and traction, and done. That looks great. And so we can also do them from a kneeling position if you struggle to feel it correctly. Bodybuilders often talk about this kind of mind-muscle connection, like, nah, that's, you know, physiologically, I don't know how much truth there is to that, but certainly understanding the muscles that we're trying to work. It's very easy in ab exercises to just basically bend the hips, and bend the hips, and you're like, yeah, I'm doing crunches. Like, no, we're trying to work this section of our body. So by going through contraction and flexion, or flexion and extension, we can go through those flexion and extension on the abs, we also have an opportunity to hold it at the bottom and have that isometric contraction as well. So we really hit all three. We get isometric contraction, heavy flexion, heavy extension, and it's a great ab movement. And it's something that can be done with no additional equipment other than just a basic rubber band that you can get online. So that's the banded ab crunch. Four, more great accessory movements, especially for lower body, which are hard to find. Those upper body accessory movements are pretty easy. We're gonna cover a bunch more of those this week and over the next couple weeks on the Barbara Logic channel. You can click the link right up there.